that because we use the RTS line or the ready to send line from the serial port that when we basically send serial data at any time during the operation of the chip it'll basically that RTS line will flip and that will cause the we'll hook that to the mem clear you know as I said before in a previous um, examples I've talked about that mem clear how we tie it to a high through that resistor well we'll connect it and I'll show you that here in a minute when we get to the hardware hookup uh, diagram to the schematic I'll show you where that's hooked in but basically we're going to use the RTS line to reset the chip so it'll so it'll jump to that bootloader and then capture the data when it's being sent and so um, but I've noticed that in this precompiled hex file right here it uh, I don't believe, like I said now, with the newer versions of it, they may have corrected that problem, but I've noticed that that uh, sometimes that configuration bit isn't set. Now, don't worry, I'll show you, I'm actually going to, uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to actually open this assembly file and basically compile it yourself and go find that, that configuration bit for Memclear and make sure that it's set and set it in the software. And then recompile it and basically generate your own hex file so that you can use so don't worry about it um, I'll show you how to do that but I'm just just pointing that out let you know that some, that caused me kind of a lot of heartburn while I was first trying to do it because basically if I turned it off and turned turn the power off and turn the power on really really fast um, it would actually it would catch it and install but it would never do it on its own and I couldn't flip the mem clear and then I then I, it dawned on me that that fuse that configuration bit wasn't set for mem clear so like I said, uh, next video I'll show you how to I'll show you how to do this for part two of this. So anyway, um, that's basically all you need to know. Now those of you that use maybe are wanting to use 18Fs or a different type of the 16F families, by all means, all the all the stuff is here. They've done a fabulous job of providing you uh, source code and everything to play with. And then this test, I think they even have a test program. Yeah. They have some test programs that will run uh, this big string and whatnot. You just put that, you know, as we saw with the uh, software that they give you, you put that little software into terminal, you open that terminal deal, and then you'll you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see that that little test program write stuff out. Basically, this is kind of like a hyperterm or a teraterm, just a simple terminaling application they include for you to play with it with. So by all means, explore this. Um, it's a very very good bootloader. But for right now, we're just going to be sticking with the uh, we'll be sticking with the 16F886. So, so now basically, here's our diagrams we've seen before. You're going to here's our voltage regulator, and we've got our 12 volt and our 5 volt coming out of it, powering up our deal. Now, see here's where this mem clear is is important. You've got mem clear tied to a high through the 10K, but then um, if those of you that know your pinouts for your uh, for your RS-232 port. Uh, pin 7 is always the RTS line, or ready to send line. What we're going to do is see, remember, anything coming out of the PC is still that minus 12, plus 12 uh, logic. So you, you, you've you got to transform that to the 0 and 5 volt logic that a PIC uses. So you have to run this through. And remember our MAX-232 chip actually had two sets of uh, transceivers inside of it. So basically you just run it to a new one. So we run it to the R2 in, and then we take our R2 out and bring that up to our memclear. That way now, when this output's a zero, it'll pull this to a zero, which will then reset the chip. And then when it comes back to a one, then the chip will reset and it'll actually go to the bootloader upon reset. So that's why that's important now. And then we've got basically our normal stuff, pin 2 and pin 3 are your receive and transmits. And they go over here to, to our 232, MAX 232 chip, get changed over and come in to our 6 and 7 for receive and transmit onto our, onto our chip. So basically, very straightforward. Um, it's exactly the same uh, connections as our uh, lesson number 5 in MAX 232 when we did just serializing or serialing to a PC, uh, converting data in between. So it's the same hookup. The only addition is we've got that additional uh, pin 7 for the RTS line to memclear. Otherwise, this is exactly the same. So hopefully I didn't go through that too fast. Um, I will post the link to uh, the Tiny Bootloader website in the description. And I will be heading back to you guys for the software implementation on the next video. Thanks.